Hey guys. Hello guys. Good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How was your day? How was work? Well. Was it good? It's it's been a very busy day. Oh, tell me. All right, tell me. Hey, yeah, it's been a really busy day, guys. Okay, who are we missing? I think we have our Ricardo Nelson Cesar, Maria. Uh, I don't remember Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, teacher. I missed yesterday. Oh, That's you missed right. the class yesterday. Okay, yes. very good. All right. Don't worry about that. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you for joining, guys. Uh, remember to turn on your cameras and welcome back. So, Ricardo, how was work? It was uh, very stressful because uh, we have to develop a new new product in my um, product in my in my company. So it's very stressful because it's, uh, we pressure my bosses very uh, quickly to de de develop that that product. <laughs> okay. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Gio. Nice to see you, man. Yep. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, very good. So, uh, okay. So, how 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 about you, uh, Rosa? How was your day? You okay now? Yes, fine. Thank you. All right. What, what do you do? What what is it that you do for a living again? I'm a manager in a in a in a hotel. Okay, you're a manager. Oh yeah, you're a manager at a hotel. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So you constantly, you, you do speak English, right? Uh, yes, a little. And frequently. <laughs> and frequently, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. All right. Good to have you here. Um, let's see, Michelle, I haven't seen you before, so let's have a quick introduction, okay? Hello, Michelle. Uh All right, so uh, just you, you can tell us just about your name and uh, you know okay. what you do for a living and uh, just about your hobbies. You, you don't have uh, to do my... it like very long, don't worry. Okay, my name is Michelle Montoya. I'm 24 years old. I'm currently studying at the university. I want to become a teacher. Also, uh, I love taking pictures, especially pictures about my cat. Those are the subjects in my picture set. That's basically what I do. Oh, okay, right. Well, welcome aboard. My name is uh, David David Navas. All right, and uh, I'm glad to have you here. Yes. All right, very good. Give me one second, guys. All right. Very good, guys. So today, guys, uh, welcome aboard, Michelle. Uh, today we're going to talk about gerunds and infinitives. Okay. So what do we know about gerunds and infinitive? Who has an idea of what a gerund is, guys, or an infinitive? What do you think? Uh, gerund it's a word that some well, that mostly works as a noun. Okay. It ends with ing. All right, and it ends with ing. Okay. All right. Very good. That's that's true. Okay. All gerunds end with ing. Okay. What else, guys? What else do we have? Huh? Is there something that they have in common? What do you think? They are verbs. Okay. They are verbs. Very good. What else? I mean, they are verbs. But they can function as nouns, right? As nouns, right. Very good. What else? What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Does it, it the, do they have the same meaning, guys? If we can interchange them, do they have the same meaning? What do you think? Yeah. All right. They they have the same meaning sometimes, but not all the time, guys. Not all the time. Okay. Not all the time, all right? At first glance, it seems like they have the same noun, but I mean, they have the same use, but they don't, okay? All right. 
Now we're gonna see that, okay? But I want to see what what previous knowledge you have about that. What else, guys? What else is different between a gerund and an infinitive? The gerund ends on ing, and the infinitive needs the two plus the, two the base words, form. Right? Very good. Now let me ask you something else. Every time, so if we use two, okay, can can is that does that does that mean that uh, that the word will become an infinitive, or is there another reason why we use that? Two works as a preposition. Oh, so very can... good. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Katina. I'm sorry. You're you're doing good. Uh huh. You said that two um, works as a preposition too, right? Very good, guys. All right, guys. I don't have anything else to teach you, right? Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> All right. Now, guys, that, that was really good. Okay, so uh, let me share the presentation with you real quick. All right. Now, have you ever heard about infinitive phrases? Oh, yes. A little bit, maybe. Yeah, once, okay. maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to see right now. All right, guys. All right, are we good? Can we all see the presentation? Yes. 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 All right, beautiful. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. So for all, first of all, guys, the difference between gerunds and infinitives, okay? Uh, let's see, Marvin, help me read. Hello, Marvin, five, four, three, two. Yeah. Hello. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Help me read, please. Okay. Thank you. What is the difference between gerund and infinity? Here, we take a closer look at how these elements differ from one another. Gerund and infinity rules are reviewed, so you can recognize both and use them then effectively. Right. Okay. Go. Very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Very good. All right. Thank you. Now, pronunciation. All right. Remember, guys, I'm going to give you feedback, right? Everybody, defer. 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 Reviewed. Defer. Reviewed. 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 Effectively. Effectively. All right. So that's how you pronounce it, okay? All right. Beautiful, guys. So these are, these are the examples, right? All right. So now, Gerunds, guys, okay, I, I know some, one of you mentioned this, okay, are verbs that end in ing, okay? What are gerunds? Verbs that end in ing. They're, they are verbs that end in ing, okay? Now, now let me ask you something, guys. Hold on. Okay, so do all verbs, guys, that any, I mean, can all verbs be transformed into ing? What do you think? Yes. 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 Okay. All, all right. All question. right. Good job. Good job. Okay. So what is the gerund for the verb C, all right? If I, if I use the verb C, what is, what is the gerund for the verb C? D. 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 D, right? Very good. Okay. All right. I think we're good so far. All right. Now, in infinitives, guys. Okay. What are infinitives? Okay. You mentioned that you add the word to prior to the verb, right? <laughs> so to fish, to think, to act, so on and so forth, right? So far, is it good? Yes. All right. Beautiful. Okay. So in Spanish, guys, there is a big mistake when we're learning English. Okay. So, for example, if you want to use them as nouns, guys, okay, this is the mistake number one, right? If you want to use them as nouns, right, or as the subject of the sentence, you cannot say thanks as you would say them in, Sp in Spanish, okay? You cannot say thank is beautiful, right? You can't, guys, okay? Because you're using thank, guys. What is thank? If I say, guys... And this is the reason why this is a noun, okay? Because we can substitute it. I mean, this is, a, this is a subject. Because we can substitute it for any other subject. You can say, 
uh, Dua Lipa, right? <laughs> like Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa is nice, right? You can say English is nice, right? Now, you can also say, guys, you can say thinking is nice. See? Why, guys? Because now this guy is right here. This became the subject of the sentence. This became the what? The subject of the sentence. Very good. Okay, so this became the subject of the sentence, right? Now, can we say to think is nice? Is that possible? Yes. All right. It is absolutely possible, okay? Very good. Uh, Ricardo, give me another example, right? Let's use it as a subject. Let's use another verb as a subject. Yeah, read, read, for example, reading, reading is, is, is good. Reading is good. Okay, good job. Give me an example with an infinitive, Michelle. Um, working out is beneficial for the body. Working out is beneficial for the body. Okay, for the body. Okay, very good. All right, do my favor, guys. Everybody, everybody right now, send me an example of both. Um, and if, send me an example of an infinitive and send me an example of, uh, of a gerund, okay? All right, so you're going to send me an example like the ones you're seeing on the screen right now, okay? So everybody do that, and I'm going to keep asking, okay? Uh, Jordana Diaz. Oh, hello, Jordana. Hi. I think that you were not present yesterday either, right? Either. No, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. All right, don't worry. Um, my name is David. Nice to meet you, okay? Nice All to right. meet you, too. All right. I right, so uh, give me give me another example if you're so kind, Jordana. Sure, um, burning is challenging. Okay, burning uh, is challenging. Oh, sorry, learning. Oh, learning. Okay, learning mm -hmm. is challenging. Yeah. Okay. What else? What else do we have? Okay, give me an example with an infinitive. Um, Jaime. Uh, uh, texting is good for her. Texting is good for her. All right. For, like, th like this? No, for health. For hurt. Help. For healthy. Healthy. Okay. I'm not understanding. I'm sorry. La salud, health. Oh, no. okay. okay, texting is good for health. Health. For health. health. Okay, repeat. Yeah. Health. Health. All right. Texting is good for your health. Okay. All right. <laughs> is it is it true, guys? Is texting good for your health? No. <laughs> All right. Except texting. Except texting. Oh, okay, exercising, okay? Exercising yeah. is good for your health, okay? Good job. All right, I only see your Dana's example, guys. I need everybody to send me your examples right now in the chat room, okay? All right, uh, thank you, Jordana. Cesar, all right, give me another example, Cesar. Maybe smiling is something that people should do more. All right, smiling is something that people, people should do, do more. more, okay? All right, good job. Uh, Ruth, give me an example with an infinitive, all right? I'm waiting for everybody's guys. Okay, hold on. I don't know if you understood this, guys. I need you to send me an example in the chat room, okay? Here. All right. Okay. To smile, to smile is something. To smile is, is very good for the health. Very good. To smile is very good for, for the health. Okay, for your, for your health, okay? To smile is very good for your health, okay? Good job, guys. All right, thank you for sending me your example. All right, uh, Adriana, give me another one. I'm going to erase this. Sorry, I was uh, writing. Oh, okay, okay. Don't, don't worry. Uh, running is an amazing activity. Running is an amazing activity. activity. Good job, okay? Good job, all right? Uh, let's see, Maria Sandoval, give me another example with an infinitive. Watching movies mm. is funny when you're with your friends. But remember, an infinitive, right? An infinitive. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, 
I want to play with my sister right now. Okay, but as an infinitive, as a, as a subject, okay? Ah, good, okay? That's an infinitive, but as a subject. Okay. Um, that's to, right, take your time. Okay, an infinitive or a general as a subject? Yeah, I, I need a, a, an infinitive as a subject. Okay. Um, to play music is relax. Is relaxing. Very good. Okay. All right. To play music is relaxing. Very good. Okay. Hold on, guys. I need to reshare the screen. All right. Good job. Okay. To to uh to play music is relaxing. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So let's see, guys. Let me take a look at your examples. Um, here it says, Caesar, to read is something necessary to improve science. Very good. I want to buy a shirt. Watching movies is, a, is funny when you are with your friends. Having cats is relaxing. To drink too much coffee can be dangerous. Swimming is, swimming is good sport for your health. Swimming is a good activity, right, or a good sport. Okay, you're missing an article there, uh, Marvin, but good job. To learn another language is, is a challenge, okay? Alexander, walking is nice. To eat is amazing. Marvin, to sing is ability. To sing is an ability, okay? You're missing, guys. You're missing the, the article. To sing is an ability, okay? An ability. Uh, Geo laughing is healthy. It's healthy to eat salads, okay? Now, remember that you want to use Geo, the infinitive, as a subject, right? To eat salads is healthy, right? The other way around. It's good, okay. What you wrote down there is good, but that's not the subject of the sentence. But instead, it's the object of the sentence, right? Uh, Nelson, to drive at 5 p.m. is very hard. Watching news about politicians is boring. Okay, good job, guys. All right, all right, guys. A big round of applause for you. Right? You did a good job. All right, excellent. All right. So far, so good, guys. Do we have any question here? No, we're good. I have a question. Go ahead. So all of the examples that we gave there uh, with the gerund can be transferred to infinitive just by adding to and base form at the beginning. Yes, but okay. it's not, there, there's something guys, there is a tricky part about this, okay? Some, so far guys, they do mean the same, okay? But they don't mean the same some other times. And that's the difficult part, okay? You have to learn when to use them, okay? So that's where they are. There are phrases. Okay, there are specific ways in which you will use these uh, adjourn or an infinitive. Okay, and they will have a different, um, and they and they will be used in a different situation. Okay, all right, and that's that's the difficult part about them. Okay, all right, okay. but uh, we're gonna get there. Okay, so, sure. Go ahead. Uh, uh, question. Go ahead. Uh, is uh... Is a rule uh, the capital letter uh, when you start uh, with a, a infinitive or or gerund? When you use it, every time that you start a phrase, guys, that becomes a sentence, no matter what the topic is. If it is a sentence, guys, right? You need to start it with uh, with with capital letters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Got it? All right. So yeah, you, you need to start it with capital letters, right? Unless, for example, you are, you're going to quote whatever someone else said, for example, right? In those cases, that those would be one of those few cases where you wouldn't be using capitalization, okay? But with that usually doesn't happen, okay? If you're doing exercises, guys, okay, always use capital letters, okay? Anyways, guys, okay? Good question, okay? All right, yeah. now you can also, guys, use them both as the object of a sentence, okay? Now, what is the object of this sentence, uh, Nelson? All right, what is the object of the first sentence that we got here? The object? Mm -hmm. I like fish. I, I like fishing. Okay, I like fishing. All right. What, what is the object? Fishing. 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 Okay, right. This is the object. Okay, what is the 
What is the subject of the sentence? Hi. Hi. Is a no. Hi. It's a subject. Yeah. Oh, subject yeah, is it is. It yeah, is fishing a is, a, is a verb. All right, let me. All right, guys, let me let me let me explain it to you, okay? First of all, guys, okay, let's do a, let's let's talk about a simple phrase, okay? All right, so the phrase that we just saw, guys, I like fishing, okay? All right, so let's break this down. The first thing that we have in the sentence, guys, is what? I. What is, is I? Subject, subject right now. Okay, so this is the subject, right? Or somebody said a uh, personal pronoun, right? So this is a subject, guys, which is the subject itself. This is a pronoun, okay? If you want to be specific, okay? All right. So the, the, the whole group, guys, is a subject, okay? A subject could be a noun or it could be a, a pronoun, okay? So this could either be either a pronoun or a noun. Got it? So I can be either I or Cheyenne, all right? All right, all right. very good. We're good. Okay. All right. Then, then we have like, but hey, what happens with like? Isn't that a verb? Yeah. It is. All right. This is the main yeah. verb, right? The verb. Okay. And then when I say fishing, what is fishing? A noun. Okay. This is the object and the object, guys, can be another well, here guys okay you can have again you can have a you can have a, an objective pronoun and and also guys with the subject you can have a lot of other things too right not only pronouns and nouns okay you can have uh, uh, infinitives you can have uh, you can have gerunds okay all right so this is you can have a uh, an objective or an object pronoun um, all right so you can say I like her, for example, or you can have, you can have a noun, all right, etc. Okay, here, guys, we have. How do we call a verb with ing, guys? Gerund. Gerund. Okay, we have a gerund. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. All right. So we have a gerund. All right. Now, can we have something else? Can we have, perhaps, an infinitive? An infinitive. Uh, yeah, an infinitive. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes, we yes. can have an infinity, right? So here you can have an infinity. All right. So anyways, guys, without these guys, okay, you have a subject, a main verb, and then you have, and then you have the, the gerund, right? Now, why, guys, why am I saying I like fishing here? Because every time that you have two verbs together, guys, okay, all right, they like each other, they get married, right? They need to be used either with infinitives or ing, guys. So here, right here, oh, come on. Hold on. Ah, okay. Let me try to erase it, okay? So right here, guys, when you say, I like, I like fishing, all right? So right here, guys, you need to separate this, okay? To separate this right here, this can either be a Karen or it can be an infinitive, okay? Yes, we good? Yes. All right. And these guys, we already know that this works as an object, as the object of the sentence, right? All right. Now, can, can, I, can I say, guys, can I use the object of a sentence, guys? And this is not only for gerunds and infinitives. Let me ask you this one question. Can I use this gerund as the subject of the sentence in this same sentence? Can change the structure? Fishing. It will change fishing the structure. Fishing is something that I like. Very good. Okay, fishing. Good job. Hey, who said that? Who said that? Fishing is something that I oh, like. Oh, Jordana. Jordana, plus for Jordana, guys. Good job. All right. Thank so you. fishing, all right. Fishing is something that I like, okay, good job. Here, guys, this is working as a subject, okay? All right, very good. Now, can I say, guys, can I say, I like to fish? Can I say this, I like to fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you can say, I like to fish, right? All right, very good. So can I say, how would we, all right, let's see, let me ask you, um, 
Ruth, Ruth Castor, okay? How would you say I like to fish using an infinitive as the subject of the sentence? Mm. To fish is something that I like. Beautiful, good job. All right, so you guys, you guys are good, okay. right? So to fish is something that I like, okay? Beautiful. All right, do we have a question so far, guys? Are you all following or do you have a question? Is this clear? Is this clear as coffee or is this clear as uh, tequila? Tequila. No, or chat? Oh, don't say or chat because chat is not clear, right? Okay. All right, very good. Okay. All right, like, <laughs> all right, guys, so let's go back to the presentation, okay? All right. So now, guys, let's let's talk about when it gets complicated, right? All right. Who wants to help me read, guys? Me. Me. me Go ahead. Me. Go ahead, uh, Ruth. Gerion and infinity usage. Gerions are best for using sentences about actions that are real or complete or that have been completed. Okay. That's gerions, guys. Okay. All right. Yes. Read it down. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, next. I I stopped worrying about the future. Okay, right. Now let's let's try to pronounce that, okay? You need to you will need to to uh, mm -hmm. study something that's called ED endings, okay? All right, just just say for everything, okay? Repeat, I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. Okay, worrying about the future. Worrying, worrying about the future. Right, so I stopped worrying about the future. Stop worrying about the future. Very good. Okay. Good job, Ruth. Good job. Okay. I right, continue. Uh, thank you so much, Ruth. Let's see, uh, Nelson. All right, Nelson, continue. Hey, in this in this example, the worrying was real, and it happened until I stopped it. All right. Again, ED endings. Very good job. Thank you, Nelson. All right. Stop. How do you pronounce this, guys? Stop. Stop. Uh, Stop. 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 All right, think about this, guys. Okay, right. When you hear a sound, guys, right? That, 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 that. right when, when, when you say stop, everybody say stop. 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 All right, when you do that pa sound, the pa sound, guys, the pa 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 pa, all right, it doesn't, it doesn't get any vibration. If you touch your throat, then you say, there's no vibration, guys, okay? When you say, do you feel any vibration when you say, yes or not? No. No vibration. When you don't feel any vibration, Nelson, the sound, the final sound is a ta. Okay? Like, it's like when you sneeze, when you go like, ta. Right? All right? So you say stop. Stop. Like a T. Yes, all right. So, all right, let's read it one more time, Nelson. Okay. In this example, the worrying was real, was real, and, and it happened until I stopped. Very good. I stopped. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right. But for Nelson, guys, good job, Nelson. Real. All right. Beautiful. So that's how you read it. Okay. All right. Caesar, let's go with number two. Uh, number three. Okay. I you mean, really... I mean, not number two, the next one. Okay. Okay. Right. You really enjoy climbing mountains. Okay. Uh, All right. Climbing. Repeat. Climbing. 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 All right. Climbing. Climbing. All right. Climbing. All right. Climbing. All right. All right. All right. You don't pronounce, guys. Climbing. You don't pronounce the P because that's a liaison. That's connected mm -hmm. speech. All right, anyways, that's a, a different thing, guys, but whenever you see a word that has two different places of articulation, the M and the B, they are both bilabial, ba ba ba, ma ma ma, right? You use both of your lips, okay? So they join, all right? The sound is joined mm -hmm. together, okay? So we really enjoy climbing mountains. Repeat, mountains. Mm -hmm. mountains. Okay, everybody repeat, mount. Mom. And then, and then, don't let go, guys. Don't let go of your, of your tongue, okay? Mountain, mountain, mountain. All right. So that's how you pronounce it, guys. Okay, mountain. It's not mountain. 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 Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Jaime, let's continue, Jaime. Okay. In this example, the climbing is real. Um is something we like do, to do okay very good guys so what do we understand by this guys is that 
for example, here, guys, you cannot, and this is the difficult part. Think about this. Okay, we're going to go back to the drawing board, guys. All right. Think about this. Can I say, guys, I stopped? Is it the same to say I stopped to worry about uh, my the future? My, okay, the future. Okay, I was going to say my toxica, but I, the future. <laughs> All right, so I stopped worrying about the future. All right, so is this the same as saying, uh, as saying I stopped worrying about the future? What do you think? I think it has the same meaning. It means the same. Okay, all right, all right. It's not the same meaning. Who says? Who says, okay, all right, send me your vote, guys, okay? Who says it's the same meaning, okay? Raise your hand virtually, all right? Let's raise, raise the hand virtually. <laughs> there is a button there for you to raise your hand, okay? okay. Whoever mm. thing has the same meaning, okay? Same Let's meaning. See. So I, I got Michelle that says it has the same meaning, that it has the same meaning, okay? Only Michelle? The oh, Jordana. Oh, meaning. Jordana is yeah, uh, thumbs meaning. up, okay? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, who says otherwise? Who says that it doesn't have the same meaning, guys? Me. All right. Who says me? Who's it? Who's that me? Maria Sandoval. Maria Sandoval. Why not? Because for me, in the first one, you are saying that you make a pulse and you then uh, begin to worry about the future. And in the second one, you stop doing this action uh, to relax, for example. I don't know if I if I was clear. Oh, no, I got it. All yeah. right, guys. Yeah. The, the Beautiful. All right, applause, guys. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're the right. yeah. it's, because, it's because of this, guys, OK? All right, do you remember this? Actions, this yeah. is part of the presentation, right? So let's oh. let me emphasize a couple of things, okay? Actions that are real or complete, okay? So this is the reason why, guys, okay? So see, actions that are real or complete. So it's not the same, guys, when you say, I stop worrying about the future than saying, mm. I stopped to worry to about worry the future, about okay? Future. In fact, guys, uh -huh. if you use future, you cannot even use it with an infinitive like this, okay? You will have to use it with a gerund. Let me give you another example, guys, so it's clearer, okay? All right, so we're gonna, all right, let me give you this example. So let's say, all right, let's say I stopped to buy at the, I stopped to buy what guys? I stopped to buy, you know, you know what? Let's change this. I stopped to buy, to buy milk, okay? To buy, oh, no, 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 no. I stopped to buy beer. Newspaper. All right. All right. All right. I stopped beer. to buy beer, okay? Is it the same guys? So let's see, let's see guys here, who is the alcoholic, okay? The first one or the second one, right? Is it is this the same as saying oh I, it changed the the color okay hold on so who is the alcoholic here okay the first one or the second right is it the same as saying I stopped buying beer yeah. Yeah. so this example guys remember the key guys relies here okay actions that are real or complete okay so according to the according to the example guys which one which sentence comes from the, from the alcoholic and which one doesn't come from the alcoholic the first one is the alcoholic <laughs> all right i stopped to buy beer okay then you say who says the first one guys me all right the alcoholic number one all yeah. right so i got okay all right race send me a message you yeah. know what send me a message guys who says yes just just say uh, number yes. one or number two, okay? Vote, guys. Okay, okay. I want to see in the chat. All right, which one is the alcoholic? 
Number one, it's still alcohol. Okay, number Jordana, one. Michelle. Oh, it's okay. Caesar says it's number two. Okay, good job, Caesar. Let's see. Okay. I think I think you got it, guys. Okay, yes, guys. It is number one. A plus for you guys. Okay. So here's what happens, guys. Okay. When I say I stop, remember, guys, which is the action that is complete already? The action that yes, the action no that okay the this one? is the action second. right that is complete okay all right so here's what happens guys when you say I stopped to buy beer you mean this okay let me try to do a quick Picasso guys okay you have the person you know all right uh, walking down the street and there is a store all right <laughs> there is a store here. All right, and this person will stop here. He will stop to get inside the store to buy alcohol. Got it? So the action will continue. Let me ask you something. When I say I stopped to buy beer, does that mean that I'm not gonna drink alcohol anymore, or I stopped, you know, drinking alcohol? What do you think? Stop to buy. That I am going to continue. Yeah drinking alcohol, right? I'm yeah. yeah. All right, very good, okay? When I say, guys, I stop drinking, uh, I stop buying beer, it means, guys, that I will not buy beer anymore. And the first example, you stop to buy beer, okay? So you are walking, for example, right? And then you make a stop because you want to buy beer. And the second example, you feel bad about yourself because you've been drinking for a very long time and now you don't want to drink anymore, so you stopped Buying beer, got it? Yeah. But, but the, the second is a, is a past time? Both of them are in the past. Both, both, yes. Both okay, both of them are in the past, okay? So what but, means but, is but, this? But, but one of them, you are continuing to, to buy, continue the, to buying, a, it's a recommendation, it's a, to advise to not, that the, but in the second, both of them is the, is the past. Both of them are in the past, yes, okay. But in this, let me give you a story here, okay. I was walking, right? I was walking, my God, down the street, and I stopped to buy some ice cream, okay? Got it? So what do you understand by this? Uh, let's see, Caesar. What do, what do you understand by this? That in the first part, uh, I want to buy, it, but then when I was closer to the to the store, I, uh, I stopped. It's that idea. You stopped, and and did you did you did you buy ice cream or not? No. This is the question, guys. Did you buy ice cream? No. Yes, you did. Yes. Why? Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yes, you did. Okay. You, you are you are walking in. You stop working. Down, for and then you are stopped buying, to buy. Ah, okay, okay. Buy screen. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, you got you got a good job, right? Whoever like said that, I don't know who said it. Okay, but that's good. Okay, I'm sorry, I erased this. Okay, oh. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, you got it. Whoever said that, congratulations. Okay, you got it 100%. Okay, so again, I was walking. The action that I was doing, guys, what was the action that I was doing? It was walking, uh, walking, walking. right yeah. down the street, and then something interrupted me, right? Yeah. All right, I was walking down the street, and I stopped. Or you can say, uh, I was walking down the street when I stopped to buy ice cream, All right? Very good. In the second example, I told you guys this was the confusing part, right? Oh my God, okay, All right. In the second example, guys, let me do another boxing here, All right? In the second example, I'm gonna give you another answer, okay? So I was walking down the street and um, I stopped buying ice cream. 
So here, guys, okay, let's answer the question for number one. All right. So mm -hmm. here we said, okay, did, did I buy ice cream? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, here we yeah. did, okay. Now, yeah. number two, guys, what about number two? Mm -hmm. uh, did I buy ice cream here? No, you don't. No, no I didn't, didn't, okay. Didn't. Okay, because here, guys, all right, when you use a gerund, you completely stop the action, okay? All right. Yes. All right. Yes. How, is it good, guys? Is it clear? I, I get it. It's clear. So. Okay. All right. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So you got an exam right now. Nah, just kidding, guys. You're going to do <laughs> an exercise. But um, but do we have any questions, guys? It's okay, right? You can make mistakes because believe me, guys, this is the one topic that you think that it's easy, but it's not. <laughs> All right. And that's only one of the uses. It, it gets more complicated. <laughs> oh god okay all right sure. so tell me tell me tell me ask I, me. I have an example uh, for example when you say i stop it to a smoke i stopped i stop i stop, stop it <laughs> i stop a smoke smoking smoking a smoking but when you say i stop uh, i stop to a smoke a cigarette uh-huh or is it smoking a cigarette? It depends. It depends. You can use both, <laughs> but but it depends what you want, what you mean. Yeah, what if yeah. the action? It but, depends on the action. What do you uh, think, guys? Oh, when you when you say uh, I, I stop uh, smoke, smoking anymore. Okay. All right. Or, or I stop uh, to smoke a cigarette. All right, let me, let's go back to the drawing board, okay? It's, it's a good, okay, right? Let me clarify something, guys, okay? All right, when you use infinitives, you must be doing a prior action. Do we all, do, do we understand what, a, what prior means, guys? Yes, the action okay. before. The action before, okay? So if I say, all right, I stopped to smoke, my question for you is this, guys. What was I doing, okay? What do you think, what my, my I have to do? Because we don't know, right? What my I have been doing. Smoking? No, but before, before. You know, I, when I say I stopped to smoke. Maybe I was working and I feel the stress. Very good. So I stopped Maybe to smoke. I was working, right? Maybe I was walking, right? Got it? There is an action that you were doing before an infinitive, okay? Remember that. There is an action that you were doing before an infinitive, okay? Now, with a gerund, guys, guess what? You don't need an action before that, okay? So you can say, I stopped smoking. Now, the same question, guys, okay? What my I have been doing you know, what am I have been doing before before this, guys, okay? What am I have, my, ha, my I have been doing? I was smoking, guys. I was doing the same action, right? Yes, was smoking, yes. Okay, got it? So there is no other action prior. Got it? Hmm. All right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so did you, did you get it this time? Is it clear this time, uh, Nelson? Yeah, but, but when you are, uh, or you, you mentioned after smoking a cigarette. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but uh, for me, it's a, an action in this moment. No, it's an action when you finish uh, in general. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm understanding. You, yeah. you, are you asking me if this is in the past or in the, or in the present? Um, in the present. No, are, are you asking me if this is in the past or in the present? No, I don't know. But, but, but my, my question is, uh, um, for example, uh, when you 
are uh, mentioned uh, uh, as sentences in general, or when you uh, are mentioned uh, with a specific time. Because uh, when you when you are talking about the past, no, I I I, I get confused. Because, don't uh, worry, don't worry. Um, I don't know when you when you decide the uh, uh, what verb do you uh, what verb. Uh, you must to 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 use in the the sentence. What verb? What verb you must use in the sentence? Yeah. Or infinity or or, or gerund. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I I, 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 I it, depends, <laughs> it, it depends on the context. Okay. If if you understood, I I'm sorry. I, I really I'm not sure if I understood. Are you asking me when to use them? When to use a gerund and an infinitive? No? Mm. Don't worry, okay. Mi pregunta oh, yes. es, yes. si me estás preguntando cuándo usar qué verbo. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, when, when you're talking about uh, in general, is uh, or in, the, in my case, for example, I I say I stop smoking, but it's in general. But yes. when you when you, or when I I say I stop smoking a cigarette, it's at a specific time. In this moment. Okay, yeah. I stop to smoke a cigarette. Uh -huh. Yes. Or, or I stopped to smoking a cigarette. You you cannot you can't say I stopped smoking a cigarette. All right. I, I'm sorry. Uh, you can say I stopped smoking cigarettes. Okay. I think I might. I I think I'm not sure if I understand the question. But yeah, you can't say I stopped to smoke a cigarette. That means. That maybe, perhaps, remember, there has to be another action before, right? Perhaps mm -hmm. you were walking, you were working, perhaps you were, you were running or you were walking, right? And then you stopped to smoke a cigarette. When you say, I stopped smoking cigarettes, you are not doing the action anymore. Yeah. All right. What, was that your question? Yes. It's, it's, it's the, the, this is my question. But uh -huh. uh, in this case, mm -hmm. is uh, the, the the sentence is is a correct form. Yeah, the, the sentence is correct. I stopped to smoke a cigarette. That's correct. Okay. Oh, you were asking me if you if you if you are if yeah you can guys. I mean, this is just an example, right? You can say yeah, I stopped to smoke a cigarette, right? And then after a while, it stopped smoking completely, all right? So you can add, yeah, you can add more information. I think that's what you were asking me, Nelson. If you could be, if you could be specific, all right? If not, don't worry, I'll answer. You can send me the question to my personal WhatsApp and I'll try to help you there, okay? But thank you, okay. thank you so much for, for making the question, all right? I am sorry that I have not understood the question, but I think I got it. I, I think I got it this time, right? Do we have any other question, guys? Yeah, I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah. It will be okay to say, to think, or to learn languages was very difficult in the past century. Yeah, you can say that. To learn, to yeah. learn new languages, right? New languages was yeah, very, very difficult, difficult back in the days. Okay? Okay. Yeah, you can say in the past century, it doesn't matter. The compliment doesn't matter, right? Yeah, but yeah, you can say this or you can say learning. Same thing. Oh, the same thing. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, what else, guys? We're good so far? Yes. All right. Now, not all guys, not all verbs are used, are interchangeable, OK? All right, we're going to see more about that so far, OK? But right now, guys, let's have, let's have some fun, OK? Have you ever played Pictionary? Yes. All right. 
I'm gonna give you access to my computer. Please don't hack it. All right. <laughs> All right. Now you can. Idea how? <laughs> All right, very good. I'm gonna give you. Who wants to draw, guys? Who wants to draw? Who's good at drawing? <laughs> I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick someone. Okay, whoever I see smiling, that's the person who wants to do it, but don't want to say that they're good. That is good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I'll choose Geo. Okay, Geo. All right. right, you're gonna be. You're gonna be my drawer, Geo. Do me a favor, yeah. Gio. Hey guys, do me a favor in the in the WhatsApp group. Uh, I need you. I need you right now, guys, to send me your name, okay? Because I don't know who is who, right? Okay. Just to have. Okay. So, Gio, Gio, send me a message to say I'm Gio, all okay. right? And I want you guys. I'm gonna give you a word, Gio. Okay, I'm gonna give you access to my computer, and you're gonna draw what you're gonna what you're gonna see, okay? In that chat, got it? And okay. everybody else, guys, you have to guess what Gio is drawing. And you have to give me a phrase with an infinitive and a gerund, okay? So, the number one, wrong. Gio will draw. Okay. Number two, wait, class wait, 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 will wait. guess. Number three, class will give me an example with the character or thing. Geo draw. I mean Geo Drew, I'm sorry. Geo, Geo Drew and um and uh and and give me right you're gonna give me a sentence, okay? Okay. Uh, Geo Drew. Actually this is it, okay. Uh with infinitives and gerunds, okay. So these are the steps, guys, okay? Good? Okay. All right, Geo. So let me give you access, man. Uh, 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 remote control, Geo. All right, Geo, do me a favor. Try to see if you can draw on my screen. Mm. You, I, where is the, the pen here? Where's the pencil? Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So I sent, okay, Geo, all right. I sent Gio the message, guys. So I want everybody participating, okay? All right. Um, so Gio, I sent you the message. I need you to draw that. <laughs> hey, wait, wait no. until he draws it, okay? <laughs> hey, come on. Wait, uh, I don't find it. The pen, where is the pen? Here. Okay, all right, all right, hold on, all right. Let me do it, let me do it for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, very good. All right, go. All right. Oh, hold on, you want me to change it to black? Okay, let's go. Okay. Is it working? Um, Click on, okay, there you go. Yeah. Try to guess, guys. Okay, right. I'll give you participation an elephant? points. No, it's not an elephant. Uh-uh. Okay. I'll give you a tip, guys. No, no, I won't, I won't give you any tip, okay? Smile. It's not. <laughs> well, smile. It might be a smile. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> a messenger. Uh, it's not messenger. <laughs> messenger. Z or whatever. It's a face. It's a face. Uh, where you're face. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a boy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Girl. It's a joker. It's a teacher, right? No. <laughs> okay. No, it's not the teacher, guys. It's the president. <laughs> no, it's not Bukele. It is, it is hard. <laughs> You have to draw something that represents him, okay? Oh, yeah. I give it away. Um, the, I, I think. You, it, you, the dentist? No. <laughs> Why are you drawing? I don't know. That? I mean, this is. Let me help you, okay? Let me help you, okay? It's a singer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Smile? So, no. Let me help you. Teeth? No. Singer? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know how to represent this, but okay. Blah, blah, blah. Right? Uh, singer. Okay. All right. You're close. Song? Okay. But who is song? it? Continue, Joe. Continue, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's a person, guys. Okay. I'll give you that tip. Okay. It's, we a, have five person. it's a person. Um... Ricardo, come on. You can relate it with Michael Jackson, maybe. Mick <laughs> Jagger. <laughs> remember, yeah, you have to remember back in the days. <laughs> you can relate it with this mark. I he's think it's. He's singing. Give me a question. Ask discovery questions, guys. Ask discovery questions, but you cannot say the name, right, Gio? Ask Gio yeah. questions, it's guys. Here. What? Is he alive? Uh, uh, yes, yeah. he's alive. Elton John. No. Well, okay. Ask another question. He participated in a commercial. Is he American? No. Okay, is he European? No. European? No. no. He's a marangulo. Oh, gulo, yes. Gulo. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll give you another oh, it's tip. Him. Uh -huh. It's Pepsi. Pepsi, Pepsi like. <laughs> you can relate it. With it's a very old, it's, it's an old singer, guys. It's an old singer. Old singer. Did he participate in the Super Bowl? Um, I don't think so. Oh, I yes? Remember. No, I don't remember. I don't think so. Weekend. No. Oh. All right, another tip. He's Latino. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. Mark Anthony. It's kind of, it's close. You're getting close. Yes. <laughs> it starts with that CH, guys. Oh, my God. Ah, man. Diane. Diane, yeah. <laughs> very good. Chespirito. <laughs> Chespirito. No, it's not Chespirito, guys. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So, do my favorite, guys. Uh, Jordana, give me, I, I don't know. Was it you, Jordana? Did you yes. guess? All right, very good. Yeah. So give me, give me give me a sentence about Chian um, using a gerund as a subject. Gerund as a subject. Yes. Um, gerund, gerund. Watching Chian's um, concerts was very excited. Exciting. Very good. Very good. Oh. Watching Chian's concerts were uh, was very exciting. Very good. Okay, good job. All right. Good job, good job, good job, all right. Uh, Adriana, give me the same, I, I need the same sentence, but with, inf uh, with infinitives. Um, to watch a Chayanne concert is amazing. Concert, okay, is amazing. Good job, all right, good job, Adriana. Very good, to watch Chayanne's concert is amazing, okay. Um, Michelle, all right, give me, uh, I need you to give me a sentence with the verb stop, uh, in, using infinitives, and Cheyenne. Michelle? Oh, she might not be here, okay, Ruth, all right, let's use stop and infinitives with Cheyenne, okay? Um, I stopped uh, to, to watch <laughs> to watch uh, concert. concert Chayanne's concert very good I stopped to watch Chayanne's concert okay now let me ask you this okay uh, Jaime did she watch Chayanne's concert or not When she says, I stopped to watch Chan's concert, did she watch it or did she not? No. Jaime, no? No, not. Not anymore. No? Yes. Not. Yes, guys, she did. Yes. 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 Okay, remember, yeah, guys, yeah, 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 when you yeah. use yeah. infinitives, yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to be yeah. doing a prior action and then you yeah. stop doing that action too. 
do yes, whatever stop, you want to. Okay, very good. Man. All right. Indeed. Got it, guys. Got it, guys. Okay, guys. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to continue with that, guys, because there are more difficult things about infinitives and gerunds. How do you like it, guys? How do you feel? How do you feel with your first grammar class? Very nice. challenging. Yeah. Challenging? Okay. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Okay. It's challenging, too. Do you, do you think that you learned Definitely. the difference, the first difference? Okay, very good. All right. All right. I'm asking yeah, you that, guys, you. because I know infinitive gerunds are difficult to learn, okay? Yeah. All right. They seem easy, but they're not that easy, right? All right. Okay. Anyways, guys, so uh, thank you guys for joining. I will see you tomorrow. Please be early. I see 13 people. I expect 13 people tomorrow too, okay? Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.